everyone, it's Saturday, August the 5th, 2023. I am Doug, and we are playing some more Connections, the new word game from the New York Times. Today on the board, we have Voila, Eggnog, Doll, Juliet, Top, Blocks, Hockey, Baggage, Giggle, Selfie, Duncan, Yo-Yo, Memory, Puck, Leggings, and Fish. That's an interesting assortment of words here. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Where do we go here? Um, hmm. Boy, oh boy. Um, I'm sitting here. What? Where? Is there anything here that jumps out at me? Hockey, blocks, eggnog. What is eggnog going to do here? Um, wow. Okay, this is going to be tricky. Um, what do we do here? Where do I start? That's the question. Um, yo-yo. Duncan is a yo-yo, but there's some, I, I can't imagine those are in the same. I think that's one of those tricks. Um so a yo-yo itself is a toy. Are there other toys? Uh, well, there's doll. Doll and yo-yo. Uh, memory, puck, leggings, fish. You know, blocks, I guess, would be a toy. Do we have a fourth? Um, voila, eggnog, Juliet, baggage. Hockey's not a toy. It's a sport. Top, top, like a top, you, you'd spin. These are like old toys, um, vintage toys, toys from yesteryear. A yo-yo, a top, a doll, building blocks. Uh, hmm, I mean, I don't... This is going to be a, a, a bit of a slog, I suspect, but I feel like I'm going to take a shot at this. Are these toys... Classic toys. Okay, I said vintage toys, but all right, I was on the right track. Okay. Uh, cool. So now, let's see here. Um, selfie. All right, so what's... Selfie's a pretty recent word. To take a selfie, a picture of yourself, something vain. <laughs> something people do with a camera. Uh, what goes with selfie in terms of words? Selfie, uh, Instagram selfie, selfie, um, selfie app, uh, selfie, selfie. You take a selfie with a camera, uh, with a friend, uh, selfie stick. So, oh, self. Could 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 these be selfie stick, hockey stick? Are these sticks? Okay, eggnog isn't on a stick. Giggle isn't on a stick. Juliet isn't on a stick. A mem memory stick? Like a piece of memory? I feel like I'm reaching here. But we're going to go with it because I don't have anything else to go with right now. Selfie stick, memory stick, hockey stick. Baggage isn't a stick. Voila, Duncan. Puck isn't a stick. Leggings. Fi oh, fish stick! That's, well, that's wacky. That would be pretty wacky if that was a cat. Stick. Types of sticks. And it, it works. Fish stick, selfie stick, memory stick, hockey stick. This is weird, but I think, I think I'm on to something here. Are we looking at sticks? We are, and it's the purple. It's the difficult one. So we, we need to get the middle two difficulty categories. Okay. The middle two. And now I'm like, okay, so let's try and make some sense here of this. <sighs> Juliet is a name. Are there any other names? I, I, Duncan would be a name. Uh, a giggle is not a name. I wouldn't say Puck is a name. Baggage isn't a name. I wonder if instead of voila, we're thinking Viola. That would be a woman's name. 
Leggings is the name. Eggnog. Well, I mean, I was that was my nickname in high school, but I don't think that's what the New York Times meant here with eggnog. Puck was like the name of one of the house guests on the first season of MTV's Real World reality show. Are we really going that far back? I mean, that's technically a name. There, there was someone named Puck. And granted, I, as much as I, I, I kind of laugh it off, I mean, with some of the categories we've seen this week, with dating apps and <clears throat> a certain other <clears throat> interesting green-oriented category, I'm not putting any. The, here's the thing: I'm not putting anything by the New York Times at this point. I feel like I've got names here, uh, and I don't think giggle, baggage, eggnog, or leggings could be called a name. And I have all my guesses. I have all my guesses. Um, the only puck I can think of is the guy from the real world. There was probably another puck, maybe. Maybe someone was named Puck. Juliet, um, the actress, Ju uh, no, Julia Roberts, I'm thinking, Juliet Lewis, actress. Uh, Duncan Hines, uh, famous for cake mix. <laughs> so this is a fictional person. I'm, I'm sure there are famous Duncans. Uh, Viola, uh, yeah, I'm sure if you, I, we don't use, I don't use the internet for help here. But I'm sure if I looked it up there, I could think of a whole list of famous violas. And then Puck, the odd man out. But I don't know how Puck goes with anything else. So, a bit of a stretch. But we have all our guesses intact. And maybe I get the one off to at least tell me I'm in the right, I'm barking up the right proverbial tree. So I think I've convinced myself I'm going to go with, I'm going to say names. And I wish I had enough functioning neurons to go deeper than that but I'm going to go with names and maybe that's Weasley but that's what I'm going with here names oh. I I uh <clears throat> I was I was not paying a lot of attention in high school when we were studying Shakespeare but now okay there we go uh Romeo and Juliet uh there was a viola I remember Duncan I'm sure Puck I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to ask in the comments what what Shakespearean work was Puck from? I don't think Shakespeare wrote the uh, wrote the screenplay for MTV's Real World reality show. Uh, I don't think so. So I'm looking for a correction there. <laughs> and so now here we're left with with leggings, baggage, giggle, and eggnog. Hmm. Interesting. Leggings, baggage, giggle, eggnog. Um. Giggle is an emotion, something you do. Uh, eggnog, baggage, and leggings are, are names of things. Uh, eggnog is a food. Baggage is a piece of luggage. Leggings is a clothing item. So there's no category in terms of what they are physically. I don't think these go with another word. Like giggles, uh, eggnog... Like, I don't even think, of, I can't even think of a phrase that has eggnog in it. Uh, baggage, claim, baggage, area, legging. Yeah, none of these, I think none of these have to do with phrases. Uh, leggings, baggage, oh, wait. What? No, that can't be it. That would be a really troll category. But they all have something in common. I just noticed they have something in common. This would be a super troll category. Maybe I'm right. I think I might be right. So these here's what these all have in common. And, and here's the interesting thing. We have the we're looking at the second easiest category. These words all have something in common. They all have three instances of the letter G in them. And this just came to I just noticed this because and, and you may or may not be aware of this. If you're new to the channel, I understand. Uh, I'm most noted here for playing Wordle every day. I've been doing that for a long time. So I'm always thinking about the spellings of words, letters and words. I mean, gosh, there's a thousand episodes that you can go and watch if you enjoy that kind of content. I hope you do. Uh, but th they do all have three Gs in them. So are these three G words? Are these three G words? Words with three G. Well, there you go. They're three G words. 
Um, for my money, I prefer words with 5G. Uh, they, they are the hottest thing. But 3G words, well, there you go. Wow. Uh, this one I'd, I'd love to hear in the comments. Besides uh, helping me out with where Puck was in Shakespeare, uh, did you get the 3Gs one? I'm kind of curious. Um, I feel like that should have been a little categorized a little tougher. That's a weird one. Uh, but that's, again, something very interesting here about connections. The categories are all over the board in terms of what the relationship between these words were. I think that's part of the draw of what makes this game so much fun. Uh, so here's to hoping that you got them. Uh, nonetheless, uh, thank you so much again for watching. Uh, you know, I, I almost never do this, but I'll do it once in a while. Please like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content and having a good time. It helps the channel. I do appreciate that. Uh, and as always, I'll see you back tomorrow and we'll play some more Connections.